Hi, I'm Bruce Nagel. I'm the Senior Advisor of the Metrics Team at Sustainable Silicon Valley, a nonprofit organization focused on sustainability in the Bay Area. Hi, I'm Anna Novakovska. I'm a data scientist at TIPCO. TIPCO Analytics has partnered with Sustainable Silicon Valley to enable them to gain a deeper insight into the current California drought situation through a spot fire analysis to take appropriate actions. Our current initiative is Net Positive Bay Area 2050. And the goal for that in the water segment is to have only locally supplied water. The Bay Area receives 66 to 80% of the water imported from the snowpack. If we lose that snowpack, we will be forced to use only local water. In order to manage something, you have to measure it. Our vice chair at Sustainable Silicon Valley recommended that we create a baseline for the Bay Area. We took data from the Water Resources Control Board and the Drought Monitor. Before we had TIPCO Spotfire, we could only use Excel spreadsheets. However, those are difficult to update, and there's no easy way to do centralized dashboards on them. There's no map data, and there's no way to drill down to get any more data from as you go into more detail. Spotfire really helped us see the insights into the data, and now I'm going to turn it over to Anna, who helped us put together the analysis of the drought. The analysis we will be showing is publicly available on Spotfire Cloud for anyone to access and play with, so feel free to access it at the link that's showing on the video. And I would like to walk you through some of it. In this view, we see the progression of the California drought for a two-year period from September 2013 to September 2015. Notice the severity of drought conditions grows over larger geographical areas throughout that time. A key area of concern is the Central Valley, where most of the crops in California are grown. Clicking on any area in the map to the left will show a zoomed-in view in the September 2014 and September 2015 maps. Let's take a closer look at San Joaquin Valley. In this detailed view, we see the area has been hit hard by the drought and the conditions are getting worse year over year. In this view, we are comparing the water used in California with the drought conditions. In the map on the left, we display the RGPCD measure, which stands for residential gallons per capita per day. This measurement equalizes water use data across geographies. The visualization maps out the eight hydrologic regions, which is how the Department of Water Resources maps out water systems. The color intensity reflects the magnitude of data. The darker the color, the more water use per capita. We can look at the aggregated data at hydrologic region level, or zoom into the map to display data for individual suppliers. The map on the right shows the drought conditions. We can use the time slider on top to see how the conditions have been changing over time. As I move the slider from June 2014 to September 2015, we see that the areas where most water is being used coincides with those with harshest drought conditions, such as the Central Valley. Note that the dashboard has interactive elements which can be used to gain more insights. For example, any selection in the water production map will update other elements on page. In the previous view, we looked at the Central Valley. Now let's select the San Francisco Bay Area, which is the focus of the Sustainable Silicon Valley Net Positive program. The inset map provides detail of the hydrologic region and the location of the major water suppliers. The bar chart shows water consumption comparing 2014 and 2015 data shown in bars to 2013 data shown as the line graph. The difference between the line and the bar graph is the water savings for that month. We can clearly see that San Francisco Bay Area is doing its part to save water. Thanks Anna for that successful demonstration. A number of key takeaways came from this analysis. First off, the map is vital to show the area where things are actually happening. The Central Valley has been hit by the drought severely. However, you really get to see it when you see the extent of it on a map. We have gone over only a few sections of the analysis in this video. The others address multiple graphic presentations of water savings and water use. It also provides the basis for being able to monitor critical KPIs on a regular basis. As an example, water recycling is becoming more prevalent. How we use that and how much we have in place is part of how we will get more use out of every drop of water. One of the nice things about the TIBCO tool, Spotfires, is it's really expanded us to look for more insights into water and where we can find places to save water or gain water. 
What we'll be looking at in the future is to expand this utility as we determine other things that we can find about water using the wonderful data that's in TIPCO to begin with. We'll be looking at our energy and greenhouse gas components of net positive later, as well as further expanding our water analysis. Thank you for watching. Please check out the publicly available analysis on Spotfire Cloud, and we hope you enjoyed this video.